Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Average here, and welcome to another Skyrim video. Today I'll be showing you how to find the ingredients needed to create your Daedric Armor. This will work in the original Skyrim game or in the new Skyrim Special Edition. I have had a quite a lot of questions in my previous video on where to find each ingredient required to create the Daedric Armor at any level. This should be a very easy tutorial, however if you have any questions leave them below in the comments and I will get back to you. The four items we will need for this tutorial to get our Daedric Armor or weapons are Ebony Ingots, Void Salts, Grand Soul Gem, filled, it has to be filled, and Daedra Cards. The first item that we will be obtaining will be the Ebony Ingot, or Ingots if you want the full set. The easiest way to obtain Ebony Ore is by going to Narzalbur, which is just southeast from Windhelm, as shown here on the map. You'll want to enter the Orcus Stronghold and follow my path until you reach Gloombound Mine. Once in the mine, if you do not have a pickaxe, then just grab one of the ones that are laying around. You will then hit the use button for PC to Z to start mining your ebony ore. For this tutorial, you will only need four ebony ingots, one used per piece of your Daedric armor. To smelt your ebony ore, you will need to find the smelter, which is just down the hill from the mine. Now you have your ebony ingots. The next ingredient we will be obtaining will be void salts. Void salts can be found in many locations around the world. They are easiest to find in solitude. In solitude there are many locations including 4 in Proud Spire Manor, 3 in Angeline's Aromatics, 3 in the Blue Palace, 2 in the Solitude Blacksmith, and 2 in Victoria Vicky's House. For this example we will be going into Angeline's Aromatics which is just shown on the map here. The third ingredient that you will need to obtain is a Grand Soul Gem. You can either buy a full one in an alchemy shop or an empty one. I recommend uh, getting an empty one and filling it with a soul using Soul Trap. The gem does need to be filled. However, it does not need to be filled with the Grand Soul. It can be filled with any soul to work. The fourth and final ingredient that you will need to obtain is a Daedra Heart. Daedra Hearts are the hardest item to get in this tutorial. You can either complete the Daedra Quest in Dawnstar called Pieces of the Past, which is a quest that requires you to be level 20, so I do not recommend it. But this is what I did in this video. However, starting at level 2, you will start to be able to find them at alchemy shops, which may have up to two Daedra Hearts in stock at a time. You can also pickpocket them, which is a lot easier. Enthir from the College of Winterhold tends to have two and restocks every other day, so if you are un unable to obtain one, then wait in game until you can pickpocket him or just purchase one from him. All of this information will be written in the description if you forget about it. Now that you have all the required ingredients, it is time to go back to the Atronach Forge under the College of Winterhold. Once there, you will place all of your ingredients into the offering box. Then you will pull the lever, causing a random piece of enchanted armor to appear. In my opinion, I would quick save before you do it, just in case you get something you don't want. In this video I had to quick save four times so I could get the full set, just as an example. And now you have a complete set of Daedric Armor with very high level enchants. 
I hope you all enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed making it. I hope that you find, all find this video helpful. I know a lot of you did not know the first place to start for finding all these ingredients on the last video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more Skyrim based videos, then subscribe. If I receive a certain number of requests for a video, I will do it for you all. If you do enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a comment or if you have any questions, be sure to leave them as well. I will get back to you. Have a great one, guys.